Hi, my name is Stuart Lynch, and this is the 11th of 15 videos in the mobile weather app series. A link to the app website is in the description below, as well as links to the other 14 videos in this series. In this video, we'll use Swift Package Manager to import a popular third-party library called SD Web Image that will help us to easily download and cache our weather icon images. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notifications when new videos in the series and others are released. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. And if you feel inclined to support my work, you can always buy me a coffee. I'll leave a link in the description below. No pressure though. If you do a lot of retrieving of images from an API, it can hang your app if the images are large. Plus, why would you fetch an image that you may have just retrieved already? It would be better to cache those images so that you can reuse them. Now, you can roll your own version of an async image loading library, but that's way beyond the scope of this tutorial. And there are a number of really good ones out there that are used by a lot of experienced developers. Here are two that I've used for SwiftUI. The first is SD Web Image, and it's available here. I'll leave a link in the notes below. It is really full featured, well documented, and it's available for both Swift and SwiftUI and can be installed either through CocoaPods, Carthage, or Swift Package Manager. Another popular one that I've used is Kingfisher. It too is full featured, supports Swift and SwiftUI, and has multiple options for installation. I'm going to use SD Web Image, as I think its API is most like the SwiftUI image constructor. You can visit the SD Web Image GitHub page here, and I'll leave a link in the notes below. As I mentioned, we're going to install this using Swift Package Manager. That way, if the author makes updates as SwiftUI changes, updating the Swift Package will update the library for you. To install a Swift Package, choose Swift Packages from the File menu and Add Package Dependency. In the search field, enter the URL for your Swift Package. Click on Next. Then next on the following screen as well. And at the next screen, make sure that the package is checked and click on finished. This installs the package. In content view, to use this package, you'll need to import it. So that at the top of the file, type import SD web image Swift UI. Make sure you add Swift UI. Now, the URL that we're going to have to use is not yet part of our forecast view model. It's one of our forecast model properties, though, so let me just add it now. In fact, I think we made a big mistake here in the forecast model. Why am I doing this computed property here in my model? This should be what I use in my view model. So I'm just going to cut it out of here, and I'm going to go to my forecast view model and paste it in here and change icon to forecast.weather0.icon. Returning to our content view now, we can replace that ugly green placeholder that we've been using all along. We use web image more or less like we use a Swift UI image. We start with web image, and we follow that with a URL for our image, which is simply the day.weathericon URL. That's our view model's computed property. Let's resume the canvas. Uh-oh, no images are shown. Let me check out my view model's URL. I see the problem, do you? HTTP is an unsecured request and our images will not be downloaded on the iPhone. Fortunately, OpenWeatherMap also has a secured HTTPS connection so changing this to HTTPS will work for us, I hope. Let's see. Yes, as soon as I resume the canvas, the request goes out and SD Web Image loads in the images. Now, if I want to resize these images, we can apply a resizable modifier and add a frame too. So let's add resizable. Hmm, not scaled too well. Let's make sure that the proportions are correct. So I'll add dot scale to fit. 
and this is too large. So let me set a frame with a width of 75. Now, as the images are loading, it would be nice if there was a placeholder image option. Well, there is. Just after resizable, use the dot placeholder modifier, and it takes a closure that is any view. So we can use that system image, which is the hourglass. That kind of represents something being loaded. Now, you may not notice if your connection is fast, but that placeholder image definitely is displayed. It's more obvious if you were loading large images. Let's change the city to Vancouver and the system to Celsius and perform a new search. You'll notice that hourglass placeholder now as it fetches the new images to replace the older ones. SD web image has a bunch of other options too, but for us, I think this is just fine.